Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we are on a journey together of studying the Bible. I'm writing a short devotional thought on every chapter, and I'm sharing those with you. Today, we're looking at Psalm 104. Meditation is a biblical way to experience God, like Bible study and prayer, but meditation has received a bad rap in the contemporary church. Like with the rainbow, we must never lose sight of God and what He has established in His Word. Psalm 104 is a long, inspired poem praising God. It's meditating upon His power to create and sustain all things. And it concludes in verse 34, and I quote, Let my meditation be pleasing to Him. As for me, I shall be glad in the Lord. C.H. Spurgeon comments on this ancient practice of God's people, and I quote, Meditation is the soul of religion. It is the tree of life in the midst of the garden of piety, and very refreshing is its fruit to the soul which feeds thereon. And as it is good towards man, so it is towards God. As the fat of the sacrifice was the Lord's portion, so are our best meditations due to the Most High and are most acceptable to Him. We ought therefore both for our own good and for the Lord's honor to be much occupied with meditation, and that meditation, listen to this, should chiefly dwell upon the Lord Himself. It should be, quote, meditation of Him. The key to effective meditation is your focus on God, His works, and His attributes. Like David modeled for us in today's psalm, the essential ingredient in all spiritual disciplines is not the practice itself, but God, the one on whom the praxis focuses your faith, hope, and love. As we are taught in Joshua 1 verse 8, This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it, for then you will make your ways prosperous, and then you will have success. Seize the moment and pray Psalm 104, meditating upon God, His works, and His attributes. Check out Philippians 4, verse 8. Seize the moment.